Oh, hi. Hello there. Welcome back, people. This is Star Creates. My name is Joshua Dao, and I'm an artist. I will take you on the journey today on how I design two characters based on some old master's paintings. Unfortunately, I decided to go with a painting from this little box called The Renaissance. It itself is quite old from 1969 and in it I find this painting. It's called Saint Michael and it's by Perugino, painted in 1496 to 99. And I decided to go with this one rather than something that would probably be more well known and more recognizable to people such as the Mona Lisa or self-portrait by Van Gogh or something because I think this has more potential to form an inter interesting character because of course the objective of this video is to create modern characters from old paintings. Of course you can't just claim that the Mona Lisa or Van Gogh are too boring and just leave it at that and I'm not doing that, don't worry, these are masterpieces in their own right with interesting color choices and techniques that I'm not educated enough to uh, lecture you about but for my purpose to make an interesting character out of these uh, paintings there is not too much to go on because, for example, the Mona Lisa is just a lady. Yeah, that's it. This fresco, St. Michael, however, has interesting things to go off. We have wings that could make for interesting embroidery on a jacket. We have this shield that looks like it could be a skateboard and other things to go off of. Just the general shape of the clothing, the shape design of the clothing could make for an interesting modern day equivalent with those same shapes, but of course, different clothing. So I go right into designing this character. Been thinking so much, they said I'm too young to stress Nevertheless, it's my life, so let's get in depth Wait, who's my audience? I save it for the album So much confidence in writing, but what is the outcome? But throughout the process of drawing this character, I struggle with it I keep changing the face and I redo the coloring process and I don't like this, I don't like that. In the beginning especially I struggled quite a bit with getting the legs right, I think because I drew skinny jeans and I'm not very good with skin tight clothing. <laughs> Maybe it is even because I didn't really like the painting it was based on, but I'm not happy with the results. Here's the final drawing, let me know what you think. I promise you there's more better things to come. I ain't giving up, just keep trying harder. Times it's harder for a rapper to start. Okay, now I know why I keep spitting these raps. One day I'ma get noticed, homie, so keep me on track. That's that. So, as I said, I wasn't happy with it. I wasn't gonna make this video just about that character design. So I take this book to hand and find another masterpiece that I could make a character design on that I'm more happy with, but also based on a painting that is more well known that pe people will recognize and want to see a character based on. I find this painting in this book, Masterpieces of the British Museum a far more recent book that we must have bought in 2012 or something when we were in the British Museum and the painting that I choose is Katsushika Hokusai's Under the Wave of Kanagawa. This is a very famous painting, I'm 100% sure you've seen it before somewhere. It was my grandmother's favorite painting actually and I, it's one that I really really like as well. It's very pleasing to the eye and a far more solid foundation to uh, base a character upon, something that I would rather like to see. So as with most of my drawings, the process uh, for this starts on Pinterest. Yo, never let them stop your grind, and when it's time, don't ever let them stop your shine. Why? Cause you work hard to get there. When you get stuck, look up, don't just sit there. There's haters regardless, just do what you do. You ain't through till it's finished, man, that's what winners do. For this character design, of course, it's a little bit different than the first one because there's no character in this painting. The objective of this one is rather to create a character that gives off the same vibes, the same color schemes as this painting does, rather than just creating a modern version of a character that already exists. So I make him a fisherman, I make him Japanese looking. You might also notice, maybe not, maybe you did, if you watch my channel more often that I changed the style of my drawing a little bit. I have a different brush for the line art and I also do the coloring differently. I don't know if this will stick around, if I will continue doing it like this. I'm quite happy with it, how it looks at the moment, but you know how it is in art. You always try something out, then you're a big fan of how it looks for a little bit and then 
after two or three drawings with it, you go back to how you did it before. Or just one tiny aspect of it sticks around. I think it's quite beautiful, uh, quite, quite interesting how something like that works, how your style constantly evolve in tiny steps, how you take two steps in one direction and one step back or something like that. I don't know. I'm trying to make it sound poetic. I hope you know what I mean. But yeah, in the end, it doesn't matter if my style will stay like this or not. I'm happy with how it looks at this moment and at this point in time. So that's all that counts, isn't it? As I hinted at before with this drawing, I was far, far more happy than with the first one. And I will show you the final result once more in a little bit. But as always, I have to ask you beforehand to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like this video, comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more of these videos as I'm very keen on making more. I really like capturing the essence of a painting in a character. And yeah, that's it. Here's the final result. All right, once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to be uploading more, uh, but I say that in every video and I never do. So uh, we will see what the future holds. With that, subscribe to my channel here, find a video you might like right here, and a playlist you might be interested in on uh, more character designs that I made right there. Okay, have a nice day, see you in the next video.